sessions so in this session we will learn a different experimental method for determining the rate constant of the first order reaction so what are the different methods to find the rate constant so normally we are using the three uh, commonly used method that is volumetric method one is uh, optical rotation methods and pressure change method these three methods are used how we can find the results so let us see the first volumetric methods so actually in this method it involves the in measurement of the volume of a reacting species or volume of the gas produced in a gaseous reaction so let us understand this idea by one example some of the examples so decomposition of the nitrogen pentoxide so this nitrogen pentoxide is uh, it is actually volatile gas this is a volatile solid so which uh, uh, decomposes in the gaseous state as well as in the form of solution and then if you are taking an inert solvent like a uh, chloroform ccl4 so in this solution this nitrogen pentoxide uh, nitrogen pentoxide is converted into no2 gas and half no2 so this is the two steps you can see these steps this n2o5 is converted to n2o4 then again n2o4 decomposed to become 2 no2 so we will get this here so this is taken the solvent is ccl4 so when this reaction is carried out in a inert solvent n2o4 and no2 so this two gases will remain in the solution and volume o2 gas is collected and noted at different intervals of time so this gas will be not dissolved in solution this will be dissolved in solution this so evolution of this gases will be noted at each interval of time so we can say that the volume of the oxygen collected at any time that is vt that is proportional to the amount of n2o5 decomposed so this is the amount of decomposed so this is the volume of the oxygen collected so we can write that is the vt that is the volume of oxygen collected is proportional to the x x means the amount of n2o5 decomposed or we can write x is proportional to vt whatever you can write is proportionally again volume of the oxygen collected at infinite time that is the v in infinite that is proportional to the amount of the n2o5 taken in stream is all the n2o5 is completely converted into this volume of the oxygen the completely decomposed so we can write v infinity is proportional to the a so or e is proportional to the v infinity so if you substitute this value in the first order kinetics we will get this is the first order kinetic that is 2.303 by 2 uh, uh, into log of a by a minus x so we will get so we will get the result k equal to 2.303 t log of v infinity divided by v infinity minus term. so this is the initial concentration and this is the your at time t so let us understand this through an example so concentration of n2o5 measured at different time interval time is given this is the other time and this is the decomposition of the n2o5 so this is our decreasing concentration so calculate the rate constant at t equal to 410 second at this uh, rate constant and when time is equal to uh, is equal to 1130 seconds so what do these results show so this is a uh, you have to take the first order kinetics if you take the first order kinetics so this is the equation so k equal to 2.33 divided by t log of n2o5 initial and this is the at final time t so when you take 410 seconds 410 seconds so just substitute this value so initial concentration is 5.5 this one and at uh, uh, 400 it is 4 so write 4 directly so you will get this much constant similarly at 1130 seconds so in this what will happen so rate constant equal to 2.33 divided by time log of this is initial concentration divided by 2.4 this so we will get this value so since these two values are constant so this is the first order reaction similarly same question calculate the rate constant this is decomposition of n2o5 at 48 degrees centigrade so this is the first order we have to prove that this is the first order reaction and this is the time in minute and volume of the oxygen evolved so time is given 10 15 20 25 20, in infinity and this volume of the gas is again it is increasing so when this uh, n2o5 is decomposed so oxygen is increased so this will follow the first order kinetics kinetics so in this cases the rate constant will be similar to each other so we'll use this formula and volume of the infinity is means the whole n2o5 converted into 34.75 ml this is ml and the uh, v infinity minus vt will give you the at time t so k equal to this is the formula v infinity divided by v infinity minus vt so let us see uh time is given so time for 6.3 that is this one for 10 seconds when time is 10 minutes so at time t this is v point this so v infinity minus v t will be 34 minus 75 minus this one so you will get this much ml 
so for this is the formula of this one for 10th minute the formula will be uh, this divided by 10 minutes log of 34 initial concentration divided by at time t this is the volume concept so on solving you will get this result similarly for 15 minutes if you solve it this minus for 15 this much substitute this value you will get this result similarly for 20 minutes vt is 11.44 so v infinity minus vt will be this much so you substitute this value you will get this much so you can see here so there are three values so these are the different rate constants similar to each other so to find the exact rate constant take this three value and divide by three so you will get the rate constants so k is equal to nothing but the k1 plus k2 plus k3 by three so you will get the rate constant of this experiment so let us take third example following data obtained during the first order decomposition n205 at constant volume so this is the volume uh, time in seconds so time is 0 100 in seconds so pressure of the atmosphere so we are taking in terms of pressure this is the 0.5 atmosphere initially of n205 then after 100 seconds it becomes 0 0.5512 so we have to calculate the rate constant so n205 is n204 oxygen so initial pressure is p0 and at time t this initial pressure is a and this is at time t it will be a minus x this is the x p not x this will take x by 2 since 1 mole so it will take x by 2 2 mole x so this will be p not minus x so now initial concentration is proportional to pressure so at time t pressure will be pressure at t time this is, this is nothing but the p not x total pressure this plus this plus this so you will get p not plus x by 2 so x equal to 2 into p t minus p not so x minus x a minus x that is p not minus x so substitute this value over here this whole value so you will get 3 p naught minus 2 pt now use the first order kinetic that is this one then you know the initial concentration and final a minus x is 3 p naught minus 2 p naught so now you substitute this value so p naught initially is how much value that is the value is uh, 0.5 you can see this initial pressure and at uh, uh, p total p total is nothing but the 0 0.5 this is the p at time t so on solving just assume this will be p naught 3 into p naught 2 into so on solving you will get this answer so this is the rate constant of this questions so this is the question next question n205 is giving on decomposition 4 molecules no2 plus oxygen so after 30 minutes from the start of the decomposition in a closed vessel the total pressure developed is found to be 284.5 millimeter of mercury and on complete decomposition the total pressure is 584.5 millimeter of mercury so calculate the rate constant of a reaction so this is the equation so initially this is 0, 0 but at 30 minutes this is the a mass x this will be 2x plus x by 2 so total will be uh, total will be a plus 3x by 2 at play uh, total pressure this is and uh, if you take the infinite time so this will totally convert into two way this will be a by two half of this one so at uh, t equal to zero initially a is proportional to p naught but uh, at t equal to 30 minutes a mass x is proportional to a plus 3x by 2 that is proportional to 284.5 so you add it on adding you will get this value so here you add it you will get this value so at infinite time uh, a is proportional to 5 by 2 into that is this one so which is nothing but the 5 to 84.5 and a is proportional to 2 by 5 into 5 84.5 so we, from a we will get this much value so a is equal to this much pressure that is nothing but the initial temperature in initial time so a is this much value and a plus 3 by 2 is 284. you can see here yeah, a plus 3 by x by 2 is nothing this much pressure and so from this we can get x equal to 33.8 so a minus x will be how much uh, so total a is this much so this divided by this minus subtracting this much uh, 33.8 so you will get the value 200 that is this value now use the first order kinetic kinetics so on using so k is equal to this much value a divided by a minus x so a you know that this much value and a minus x is nothing but the 200 so on solving for 30 minutes you will get the k equal to 5.206 into 10 power minus 3 per minute similarly you can solve this question the decomposition nitrogen peroxide was performed in a inert solvent ccl4 so this is the time and this is the volume of the oxygen evolved like this this is again increasing 
so show that the reaction is first order and also calculate the rate constant so i am leaving to you just for practice it the rate constant where you will get uh, 0 0.00336 per second after decomposition of nitrogen pentaoxide so we will see the decomposition of ammonium nitride so in aqua solution it will give you n2 plus h2o so volume of nitrogen gas collected and measured at different time intervals and also after long time that is infinite time we can use the formula k equal to 2.303 divided by t log of v infinity divided by v infinity minus vt so let us see some examples to understand so that the decomposition of ammonium nitrite is first order in aqua solution from the following data so time is given this is and volume nitrogen decomposed it collected so this is in increasing order so when this is infinity this will be 35.05 so for first order kinetics, this is the equation. So at t equal to 10 minutes, you this is initial uh, concentration of N2, that is after infinite time. And after t time, so for 10 minutes, 6.25, so subtract this minus this, you will get this, cons uh, this uh, constant value. Similarly, for the 15 minutes, you will get this value. Similarly, for the 20 minutes, you will get this value. So rate constants are same at different time interval so it hence it belongs to the first order so since this is constant so this shows that the rate of kinetics is the first order reaction the half uh, time of the first order decomposition of nitramide is 2.1 hour at 15 degrees centigrade so this is the reaction of uh, uh, nitramide so we can say this ammonium nitride as a nitramide there are two names are there if you take 6.2 gram of ammonium nitride is allowed to decompose then calculate uh, question 1 the time taken for ammonium nitrate to decompose 99 percent and second is the volume of dry and 2 produced at this point measured at stp so since this follows the first order kinetics so we can say k equal to 2.33 t log of a divided by a minus x so k is given that is the uh, first kinetic is 2.1 hour so we can write k equal to 0.693 divided by 2.1 hour so for 99 percent the 2.33 divided by k log of a divided by a minus 99 by 100 so on solving you will get this equation so for t equal to 99 percent on solving so log of 100 divided by this on solving you will get log of 2 this is nothing but a 2.1 so you will get answer 13.95 hour now second case how much uh, moles of n2h form so moles of n2h form is 99 percent of mole of ammonium nitrate taken so this is nothing but 6.2 gram by molar mass that is 62 so volume n2 is formed by stp will be this is the total moles multiplied by stp volume so you will get 2.217 liter now we'll see another uh, experiment another question that is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide so this is the third one so hydrogen peroxide in presence of platinum which is converted into water plus oxygen so this is also uh, kinetics of this reaction is studied by the titration of H2O2 against the standard solution of hd 5 kmno 4 So thus by uh, withdrawing equal amounts of the solution means uh, how much 5 ml almost at regular intervals of time and titrating against the same kmno 4 solution. So the volume of the kmno 4 used, the volume of kmno 4 used for titrating H2O4 will be proportional to the amount of H2O2 left undecomposed. That is volume of the kmno 4 used at zero time will be V0 will be proportional to the initial concentration of H2O2. The volume of the KNO4 used after time t, that is Vt, is proportional to the remaining concentration of H2O. So this will be decomposing and this will be uh, reacting with the H2O4. So this will be A minus X, since this is decomposed. So you will get Vt is proportional to A minus X. And now you can substitute the value of kinetic equation in the first order equation, that is this equation. So A is nothing but the V. So we have written this is the V. So this is the V0 and this is your Vt. So you will get 2.33 divided by t into log of v0 by vt. So let us take some examples to understand this one. Uh, rate of decomposition of H2O2 at a particular temperature was measured by titrating solution with HD KMNO4. So time is given 0, 10, 20. KMNO4 is used is 22.8. So this is decreasing. So what, uh, what you have to find the you have to show the first order and what is the value of k. So first order kinetic is k equal to this much value v0 by vt. So v0 is nothing but a and vt is a minus x. So after 10 minutes, we can write uh, log of v0 is how much? That is the initial volume this much. And vt will be how much? 
that is 13.8 at 10 minutes so this is the qno4 used at 10 minutes so on solving you will get this value and for 20 minutes similarly so 20 minutes uh, volume qno4 used is 8.3 so right here uh, on solving you will get this value so key average will be 0 0.050 this is, this is the uh, this value is near to each other so this is the first order reaction and uh, average rate of, of the constant will be uh, addition of this divided by 2 will be this much value so now let, let's take the second example based on this one second example is same time is given 0 10 20 30 minutes and volume of the kna4 needed for decompose n2 of four. this is the different concentration so initial is v0 this is the vt 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 at 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes we have to show the first order kinetics same thing after 10 minutes came will be this is the initial concentration v0 25 and after 10 minutes this will be 16 so 25 is 16 this much value for 20 minutes so for 20 minutes again time will be 20 this will be 25 and this will be 10.5 so this is solving you will get this value so after 30 minutes k3 will be time is 30 and initial will be 25 and after 30 minutes this will be your 7.09 you will get this one so since these are constant near this is just nearer to let us take another example time is given minute 10 15 20 25 infinity and volume of the oxygen given by h2o2 on decomposition so this is again oxygen increasing 6.3 initial volume and final volume in after the completion of uh, whole h2o2 complete decomposition h2o2 this is converted to 30.75 this is the complete oxygen evolved from the h2o2 so volume of the oxygen at any time is proportional to the most of h2o2 decomposed so at 10 t equal to 10 minutes k equal to this is the total volume of the oxygen evolved and divided by the volume of the oxygen evolved at time t equal to 10 minutes that is 35.75 minus 6.3 this one for 10 minutes you will get this value for 15 minutes you take this value solving same you will get this one for t equal to 20 so 35.75 minus 11.4 11, 11 so you will get this much value for t equal to 25 so on solving you will get 35.75 divided by 22.25 so this t equal 25 so on solving you will get 1.897 into 10 power minus 2 so you see all these values are just constant near to constant so what is the rate constant rate constant will be average of this divided by 4 so on dividing 4 you will get this value and finally the rate constant of this equation will be 1.92 into 10